Hey, you guys, what's up? I am going to talk about the news. This is my new playlist from Books, Beauty, and Stuff called Book News. Now, some things a lot of people may not be able to catch because, you know, our timelines on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, um, they're always, you know, scrolling. They're always going because some friends we interact with, some we don't. You know, things like that. And it's cool. So, with that being said, I want to talk about some of the um, book news I'm going to talk about today because I found out some stuff. Um, some stuff you guys may know, but I was like, in case you want to put it all together, because you may forget, I'm here for it. This is my first um video on this playlist, and I am truly excited about it. And you know, um, this is something new that I'm trying that hopefully may work out. So, so let's get on. First, let's talk about decades: a journey of African American romance. Um, it's going to be a decade from the 20th century. And how this idea came about, because years ago, um, Harlequin had posted, I did a, um, had did a similar series uh, featuring um, love from different decades and whatnot. I forgot what it's called, but I'll put it in the um, video below so you guys can see what I'm talking about. And within that concept, you find out uh, where are the people of color? Where are um, the her heroes and heroines of color and things like that? Um, so, some authors collab and decide, hey, let's, let's make our own thing. You know what I'm saying? So, there became a decades of, um, decade, a journey of African-American romance. The first book that came out to, in today, actually, well, I don't know if it came out today, it may have came out Friday, was A Delicate Affair. It's based in the, I mean, the, um, decade 1900s, the first decade of the, um, 20th century, and it's by Lindsay Evans. I'm here for it. I'm going to eventually get all of it because the thing about it is we, I, I'm used to seeing, I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm used to seeing um, other heroes as well too, but I'm used to seeing heroes that look like me and just from my neck of the woods. Don't mean they had the same views as me, but I'm just saying that look like me. So with that being said, I am definitely, definitely excited for this. I am definitely here for it and I am so looking forward to this, um, I'm definitely looking forward to this book. Okay, speaking of, um, the decade, the decades of Journey News, um, also, fan favorite, um, best-selling author, Zuri Day, will also be a part of it as well, too. She's, um, doing a book in the 1990s, um, called Thug Love. That should be hot. That being said, um, they def this is definitely going to be part of it. Let me pop my cheek a little bit. Oh, wrong side. Uh. Okay, cool. Um, just in case on you want to know my cheek, I have Peach Swiss blush on from Mac. Um, and then let's speaking of Zuri Day, we have also French Quarter Kisses, um, which is her last book in the um, Harlequin Kamani romance um line, which you guys know as of late last year they announced they're um doing away with some of the lines, maybe do the sales or things like that. And Kamani was one of them. As a matter of fact, you can take a look at Pink Heart Society or how to rebrand your um rebrand yourself on um, right under different imprints. I have read some of the articles on there. This oh my gosh, this is this this is this blog and site is so is so excellent, full of information, full of wonderful information. So you guys can check that out. Pink Heart Society. I'll put the link bar below so you guys can check out the website as well. Fabulous information. So, you know, it's like I said, it talks about some of the stuff about rebranding. And then, like I said, Zuri Day is also going over to the Desire Line because they picked her up as well. So I cannot wait to see what she's coming out because a lot of books I did enjoy as well, too. And speaking of her books, Sweet He Love, A Blue Collar Love, if you guys remember the series that she did, I have um, the first two books in the series. I cannot wait until um, it's called Packing Heat and I think the other one was called Driving Heat. I cannot wait until that um, the third book comes out in the series. Um, I'm thinking, is it going to? I wonder if it's going to also be published by Kensington as well too, which the first two was as well too. So we'll find that out soon. And also, I have to pick up myself, so I'm guilty of not doing it. Lashing, la mm, lavish loving, and decadent of desire. The last two books of the Drugs of California series will be is also available now for pickup too under um, Kamani. So, speaking of Kamani, my girl, as you guys know, fan favorite Reese Ryan, the one winner of Books, Beauty, and Stuff Awards, 
she also has um a book coming out called um seduction in san diego that comes out in um i think march or something march um and then she also has a book which she i picked up also by desire called savannah secret which is a part of her new series called the bourbon brothers i'm actually in the middle of reading it and you, like i said you can check out a couple of videos i did of her recently the series um review on the pleasure cove series and you can also talk about what should you start with okay so, with that being said, um, ooh, Kensington as well, too. Sharice Hodges has a book coming out called Strategic Seduction, which is coming out in April. I'm so excited about that. That's part of the Charlotte series, which I call the Charlotte series, basically, because a group of friends in North Carolina met, and it's a fabulous series. I have to update it soon, so... That should be definitely updated. Um, it features Alicia and um, Solomon Crawford's brother, Richmond. I finally cannot wait until Richmond gets a woman. I wonder how that's going to work out. Because, child, Richmond got on my damn nerves. But you know what? Um, it was something about him I like. Um, yeah, so I'm definitely excited about 2018's um, releases so far. And I will talk to you guys soon. And thank you for watching Book News. This is my, my first playlist. Bye.